do it. Hi, my name is Rachel McDonough, and this is my friend. Hi, I'm Susanna. And we're here at the beautiful Madison Square Garden for the big fight, and you are watching True School Sports. And yourself. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't, I'm not, not going to analyze, you know, where his guys are at or whatnot, but I mean, in terms of boxing, I'm an A-class guy, you know, and he's got to have to do with that. This is your third camp with John David Jackson. Uh, how is how is your familiarity going to help uh, you in this fight with uh, Earl Spence? You know, um, over time with the, with the coach, you know, working together, sparring session, that sparring sessions, and, and being in the ring, you know what kind of what kind of words and tells can get some you know fighter going. So I think that um, him and I speak the same language at this point, and if there is a need to make any adjustments during the fight, that he'll be able to communicate that to me smoothly. Good. I know early on in uh, your guys' like relationship, he said that people kind of underrate you as a body puncher. Yeah. Is that something that's improved over time? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's something that he stresses a lot during training camp as well. So um, we push it uh, with my sparring partners. You know, those, those those guys take uh, take a beat into the body. You know, we stay pretty consistent with that. And uh, you know, it's something I showed a lot in the last fight opponent. Okay, and how do you feel like you know stamina wise coming into this fight with Earl Spence? I'm in fantastic shape as always, you know. So this is uh, another, another way for me to show uh, my conditioning and, and what kind of endurance I think I really have. Okay. One, what's one clear advantage you have over Spence? Speed, power, ability? Um, I would say my conditioning by far. You know, I've, I've uh, he's never really even been pushed. I've been able to um, to you know push for, for, for full fights, for, for long fights, for 12 round fights against top guys there. Speedy guys too. Mir Khan and, and Manny Pacquiao are the kind of guys that they're fast and they're working the whole time. And um, on top of that, my, my ability to adjust, my ability to adjust the ring um, is, uh, is, is is top notch. You know, I've been in fights where things are obviously we've all seen that going wrong, and I was able to, to pull things out of the fire. So that's important. Thanks a lot, Chris. Appreciate it. It was a uh, it's it's a velocity trainer. It actually it's used by NFL players quite a bit um, for. Uh, exercise physiology, uh, performance testing, it actually measures the speed at which your, your velocity, which your body is moving and stopping. So I um, was able to tell what um, what speed that I was moving around the ring at, also um, the velocity of the punches that were being received on my arms and my chest. And underneath that, we had a heart rate monitor that was monitoring uh, my heart rate through the round, which is very difficult to do in a boxing match. And there's, no, there's no clinical data on this. Um, because it's very hard to wear anything while you're sparring, getting hit without causing injury or getting in the way. So it was, um, it was, it was a bra, a sports bra, but it was in, it was in the name of science. And hopefully, you can, uh, you can, you know, have some data that that can be useful. What's the primary thing you're looking to improve by, by using it? It's not so much for improvement on on me personally or moving forward. It's really just for um, gathering um, data on different athletes in different sports. There's very little data developed um, on any boxing, you know. So, and I think that boxing is um, kind of behind the times when it comes to sports conditioning and, and, and nutrition and strength training. Um, so, if we can gather some information and some data along those lines, that can actually improve the sport over time. Why not?